This year, prepare your loins for the biggest, the hottest, and the most original show in the interwebs today. It is the show you've all been craving for, a show like no other that will surely whet your big appetite, packed with business reviews, political shenanigans, entertainment news, and honest social commentary, it is simply out of this world. It is bold, it is uncensored, and unsponsored. So kick back, grab some chamomile tea, and get ready for some mind-blowing education. This is the Monthly Review. And here is your presenter, the host with the most, the boss with the toast, the savior of the lost, and the bearer of the cost, Dick Mulagai. We begin this bulletin with the refugee crisis. Coming on the back of the expose on the profiteers in the Sudan conflict, we highlight the plight of immigrants and refugees in Kenya brought about by wars in South Sudan, Somali, and the DRC. As Riek Machar and Salva Kiir compete in a guerrilla warfare, 3.3 million Sudanese have been displaced. Moreover, as Somalis solve their clan disputes in gunfights and suicide bombings, they have created a ripe breeding ground for the Al-Shabaab terror group. Combined, the civil strife among our uncivilized neighbors has given birth to the Adab refugee camp in Northeastern and Kakuma refugee camp in Turkana. Kakuma refugee camp set in semi-arid Turkana desert is ill-situated for agriculture while employment and movement restrictions deter over 180,000 refugees from seeking jobs. Dadaab, on the other hand, regarded as Kenya's third largest city and the second largest refugee camp in the world, hosts more than 600,000 refugees and asylum seekers. In these two camps, malnutrition, communicable disease outbreaks, and crime are common problems. Some refugees have lived in the camps for more than 25 years with no hopes of reintegration or repatriation, with most refugees relying on aid for survival. Moreover, funds for their support have dwindled in recent years, creating an atmosphere of hopelessness and desperation. In retrospect, Kakuma and Dadab camps have created a kind of hostage situation for refugees. Moreover, in 2016, the Kenyan government came up with a proposal to close Dadab refugee camp, calling it a burden to the Kenyan government. However, we seem to forget that the refugee crisis is not local, but global. 2017, for instance, saw the creation of 2.9 million new asylum seekers spurred by conflicts in Syria, Myanmar, DRC, and Sudan. The total number of refugees worldwide has grown to 68.5 million in 2018. That is, 30 people are newly displaced every minute, and one in every 110 people globally is either an asylum seeker, internally displaced, or a refugee. The lack of legal pathways leaves many people fleeing persecution with few choices. Since 2015, more than 1.4 million people have taken their chances aboard and seaworthy boats in a desperate attempt to reach Greece, Italy, and Spain. In 2017 alone, over a thousand people died in these dangerous crossings, with 150 of them being children. Unfortunately, European countries have since tightened their immigration policies and massively dropped resettlement opportunities for refugees. Wealthier countries like Italy, the UK, Spain, and the US have continued to prioritize policies that deter asylum seeking. In fact, developing countries like Kenya and Uganda are left with the responsibility to house 85% of the world's refugees. With such developments, the refugee crisis is bound to get worse if these senseless wars continue. It is therefore our responsibility to put donor dollars to good use and integrate refugees in Kakuma and their dub into our economy before it escalates into unmanageable proportions. According to the 1951 Convention relating to the status of refugees in Geneva, it is the responsibility of all nations to grant asylum to those rendered stateless by warfare, famine, natural disasters, or those most vulnerable to persecution.